I think it's I, I think it's not it's not anger it was anger I think earlier in the season no I think it's just sadness it, it, the, you look at the team today United I don't think there's any heart there there's no soul there's no leaders they lack real quality they're so far off you look at the United fans tonight it's just there's no surprise at the scoreline they probably kept going to the end but again you just felt Liverpool could score anytime they went forward mm. there's disarray at the club from the top from the board fans there's no time for the owners they need a new manager they need new pl they need players in they need players out they are uh, yeah. it's, it's 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 so sad to see United because it's not the, it's not the club I played for it doesn't reflect what Man United stood for when I played for it's just it's chalk and cheese I, I, I don't see a Man United team out there fighting playing with pride Ladies and gents, you know, I can, I can say everything that I want to say here on United People's TV and uh, for some reason you listen to my opinion, but that man there, Roy Keane, when he speaks about Manchester United, I truly do listen. And Roy Keane's reaction there pretty much sums up that, that how that supporter looks. Roy, Roy Keane's not angry anymore. Roy Keane can't really get angry anymore at what he's seeing from these Manchester United players. And that's what I want to do in this video. I want to take a look at his reaction, his comments on the game. And I want us to talk about them in the comments because, as I said, that man sets set su such a standard at Manchester United. Still, in my opinion, the best captain the Premier League has ever seen. Uh, probably the best captain the Premier League will ever see because of the standards that he set and the standards that he met week in, week out. And you're watching this performance from Manchester United, and you're watching these performances from Harry Maguire, from all the other players, and the performances just aren't there. The, the standards are just not there anymore. And as I said, Roy Keane's been sort of consumed by that, that difference of emotion. After the 5-0 at Old Trafford, I was angry. Anger was the main emotion that came out of me in my match reaction that game. But that feeling I've got there is exactly what Roy Keane was saying in that thing. He goes, that's not Manchester United. There isn't. That's not the Manchester United that he fought for. It's not the Manchester United that Eric Cantona fought for and built as well. And we're just seeing these players just take it apart. Obviously, the Glazers and the ownership and everything that's been done there is that, that, that cancerous environment, that toxic environment that's sucking the life out of the club. Of course, that is. But that doesn't mean the players have to play like that. The players could flip that narrative. The player, if they wanted to, they really wanted to, they could be playing very, very differently. They're just deciding not to. And Roy Keane there, as I said, that, 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 that emotion that he's got there sums it up for me. And these, these further comments that he says here as well, they're so completely and utterly true. And, and he can just, because it's Roy Keane saying it, it, it carries so much more power, in my opinion. What Man United have always had, and in my experience as a club, Brilliant characters, brilliant men, people you want to work with, people you want to be in the trenches with. Brian Robson, Bruce, Pallister, Ince, Beckham, Giggsy, but all these lads. Yep. Brilliant lads. We didn't win every week, but what you would have is going, you'd look around before a game, you'd go, have a are we going to give everything we have for this club? And you obviously, yeah, and they were going, that's what we expect. And hope. Because that is the minimum you should expect. It is the a minimum that anybody, whether you're Burnley, West Brom, Norwich, Crystal Palace, Leighton Orient, Fulham or Manchester United. It's the absolute minimum that any fan should and should rightly expect of their players. And time and time again this season, and even more so since since we got into that position where we were like, we could be in a top four chase here somehow. We go and draw against Leicester. We go and lose against Everton. We go and knit, well, Ronaldo pulled us out of the trenches there on his own against Norwich. And then we go and do that there today. We did used to have characters and it, as I said, it, Manchester United, how we're playing right now, with the, Manchester United, the football team, are forcing us fans to just focus on nostalgia because it's, so, and it's not nostalgia. It makes us sound nostalgic. It makes us sound like the Liverpool fans that we laughed at for so long. But when those key characteristics are just so obviously, painfully, blindingly, obviously missing from this, it's all you can talk about. It's all you can really focus on. And that's exactly what Roy Keane's doing in these comments here, and he's absolutely spot on to do it. Let's see what else he has to say. Hopefully our talent will get us over the line, and we might win the odd game. Does he ever get no, but this, this team's not even likeable. There's no soul with this team. You don't even warm to them. And even the words afterwards, I know it's difficult for players to do interviews, but it's very, like, very robotic. Robotic. There's no emotion. There's no, all they talk about the badge and the pride of Man United. And the word I, I'm going to start badge. using it, Man United. I'd love to know what's going on at the training ground. What's the culture with the players? What's the culture with the young players? 
Well, you know what the culture is. The culture is set from the top down. The owners of any business in the world, they set the culture at the club, and we know that, and that's that's all encompassing. But just what he's saying there is so true, man. And that's where the feeling is different after this game, after that result against Liverpool, the 4-0 at Anfield, compared to the 5-0 that we saw under Solskjaer. The 5-0 under Solskjaer at Old Trafford was when I personally was like, it's too far now. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to have to be sacked as Manchester United manager. It was at that point that I knew that we weren't going to be able to continue. But I still had some sort of connection to these players. I felt like I had a connection. It felt like I did. But after that game there against Liverpool, following on from the games against Leicester and Everton and Norwich and the position that we were in and could have been in, Bruno Fernandes after the game saying that we've got nothing to play for. We would have been joint fucking fourth with Spurs just on goal difference had we won that game. You're telling me that's not something to play for. It's not ultimately what we want to be playing for. But our players have been so crap that they've taken us out of every one of those competitions. So exactly what Roy Keane is saying there is absolutely spot on as well. That likability has disappeared. I genuinely thought that, that I remember saying it. I remember saying it under Solskjaer. He said, I feel like I've got a bit of a connection back to these players for the first time in a long time. And that's just disappeared. Absolutely gone out the window. Again, Roy King completely spot on what he's saying there. Who's helping these lads along? So I've never heard so many, Graham makes the point, so many players wanting to leave Man United. Wanting to leave. Whereas before, Get out. Before, people like, I'd want to leave Man United. Oh, that's the greatest club in the world. You'd be dreading to think you might be sold or you might leave. But no, it's like everybody wants to get out the door. They can't get out. Mate, you want, everybody wants out the door. I want so many people out the door. And I tell you what, Hearing Ralph Rannick and his comments after the game as well, exactly, completely backing up everything that Roy Keane, all the points that Roy Keane is making here. You know, Roy is somebody who's always spoke with such honesty. It was that honesty that, <laughs> that got him out of Manchester United in the first place. And it's that honesty which makes him such a good former United player to listen to. He set the standards before. He is allowed. He is entitled to have these opinions. And these opinions count. Everyone's entitled to their opinions, of course. It's not what I'm trying to say. But his words carry power and after the game hearing Ralph Rannick our manager saying this it's embarrassing it's completely disappointing in a way also humiliating I wouldn't say in a way also humiliating I would just say absolutely completely humiliating and he's gone as far there as to saying that there could be six seven eight maybe ten new players at Manchester United and also that many players leaving when you think of the likes of Matters leaving on a free, Pob is leaving on a free, Lingard's leaving on a free, Matic is leaving on a free. Four free transfers that should be out of the club. Phil Jones probably should be sold, definitely should be sold. Anthony Martial should definitely be sold. And that's six players, and I'm sure I could think of more if I was to sit there and look at a list. Eric Bailly probably wants to leave the club. There's so many players that want to leave that don't want to be here. Get the fuck out. Leave. Man United will move on, and we will be better for it. There is just no defending pretty much every one of these players now. All of them are as guilty as the other. There are some, and look, I'm, I'm going to be doing another video on, on Harry Maguire because, as I said, when you're a captain, you are held to a different level of accountability. But everything Roy Keane has said here, it, there's nothing is knee-jerk. Everything is truly from the heart with Roy Keane. He remembers a Manchester United that he was captain of that went on to become the most successful team in England ever. He was the captain of that team that won the treble. Might not have played in the final, but you remember that captain's performance away at Juventus that got us to the final. Roy Keane set those standards. And we're seeing Harry Maguire and co. rip, just rip the club apart. On the pitch, off the pitch, there's the Glazers and they're ripping the club. It's like two different attempts to rip the club apart on and off the pitch at the exact same time, working in unison. That's the culture that that's the culture that's taken over the club. The players feel they're bigger than the than the club. And that was the thing that Fergie always, always wanted to avoid. But I wanted to do this video because there's going to be a lot of fallout. And I'm going to be doing a live video later on today. And I'm going to be doing another video on Harry Maguire. There are so many focused talking points that we all need to have as we try and dissect what we saw against Liverpool at Anfield. The painful part of it was it, it was completely expected. There was no surprises, but it was just that part of you that goes, I just hope that United can, can channel in that sort of inner keen. They can find that fighting spirit. And I'm not just talking about Hannibal coming on for the last few minutes and just trying to show the players what they should have been doing from the first whistle. 
But yeah, man, that the fact that I saw Roy Keane there at the end of the game speak so quietly, just an acceptance. The anger's been replaced by, it's like the different stages of grief. The anger's just been replaced by an acceptance that this is Manchester United now. It's not the Manchester United he remembers. It's not the Manchester United he built, helped build, sorry. But it's the Manchester United that you see today. And I wanted you to let me know what you think about Roy Keane's comments down below. As always, as you always do, please uh, subscribe to United People's TV if, you, if you're new. But where do we go from here? Where Honestly, where do we go from here?